Where canst thou be? Now come full. <clears throat> Hello? Reveal thyself. This falls well enough now. Strange. I wonder what kind of work the mechanists do here. guys.
Dost thou know whether the sheriff hath arrived? The sheriff? What dost he here? In Paris' name, man, hast thou been stuffing leaves in thine ears? Hast thou not heard about the meeting? Oh, the meeting. I had forgotten that today was the date. Fa! Thou hast no idea what I speak on. Thou must learn to pay more attention, lest thee find thyself fallen by the wayside as the future passes thee by.
looks upon it. Never shall I finish my design. The springs and gears conspire and confound me. Calm, friend, calm. On the morrow, let me come by thy workbench and help thee untangle things. I... I would be most grateful, couldst thou help? Tis nothing. Think on it, as the copper and tin mingle to make the stronger bronze, so dost we each mingle and flow together in Karis's forge to make stronger as well. Thou art wise. Tis Karis who is truly wise. His bounty and the machines we construct shall help all of humanity in the coming times, and all shall know his wisdom. I will be glad to have this wretched task behind me that I might move to a more profitable position. It's no big secret that the Mechanists are the ones supplying Sheriff Truett with those machines.
for thou art my friend, that I wish the children of Karis were more uh, mild seeming. Thou art not the first to be afraid of them, for their visage is wrought to strike terror into the enemy of Kalas. Mere strikes terror into mine own heart. Thinkest thou thine own soft body of leaky flesh and wheezing gases is glorious to the eyes of the builder? Nay, tis thy soul that is the only thing of any worth. So tis with the children of Karas, for they are the blessed and immortal heirs of the builder, while I and thou are but the paltry tools that forged them. As thou sayest. Fool! Callus would be well rid of that one. <clears throat> who might consider becoming enemies. Well, and it might, for it near strikes terror into mine own heart. Thinkest thou thine own soft body of leaky flesh and wheezing gases is glorious to the eyes of the builder? Nay, tis thy soul that is the only thing of any worth. So tis with the children of Karas, for they are the blessed and immortal heirs of the builder while I and thou are but the paltry tools that forged them. As thou sayest. What a fool. Karras would be well <clears throat> rid of that one. <clears throat> Just a boiler? <gasps> Come into the light so that I might see thee.
If there be a tree, fell it. If good cog is that. Uh. Was but a rancorous wind. Someone be there, then be speak. <coughs> What's that there? <coughs> if someone be there, then be.
<clears throat> Hello? Reveal thyself.
these mechanists are just as bad as the hammers. Disturb them. I can hear the meeting just fine from out here. Behold, Sheriff Truett, from the lowly street rat emerges the loyal worker, that which I call the servant. This is one of the tramps I delivered to you? The transformation is spectacular. And neither want nor worry has he. Lucky fellow. <laughs> Strange you should mention worries, Karras, because I do have one. It's not that the money's not right, no, it's just that I need to be convinced you've taken the proper precautions. The Truett name is untainted by scandal, and I will not be the one to bring it humiliation and ruin. Trust thee in me, for tis the Builder himself who guides me, and the Baron need never know. Yes. I'm glad your builder guides you, but it would make me feel even more confident if you were to let me in on your whole scheme. Come now, what's the crux of it all, eh, Garrus? Show me what's so special about your new servants. Ah, it is impossible to hide anything from you, good sheriff. I will give the full explanation then in the form of a demonstration. The visual in this instance would far surpass any verbal elaborations I could relate, but I must ask thee to step away from the masked servant, that's right, and meanwhile I will retrieve our volunteer, a most unfortunate gutter snipe who waits just outside. Come, come, gentle beggar, and stand thee just there, next to the masked man. All is in readiness, so keep thine eyes on the new arrival, whilst I signal the servant, Dusty. My word! The mask emits a red vapor! Continue thy observations, Truett. But it consumes them! We are in peril! Fear thee not, stout sheriff, for we are safe at this distance. See, already the reaction ceases. They are gone! And what remains in their stead? Sand? No. Rust. 
Indeed, he's very much like Rust and Harmless once settled. Brother Fegan, I pray thee, do sweep up what is left of those two. Yes. A weapon, then! Quite fantastic and monstrous. Of course, you'll keep these servants you're making away from me and my men. Thou need not even ask. Then we are in agreement. You need subjects for your servant project, and I can supply them. Vagabonds, street scum, prostitutes. Those who will not be missed by anyone of consequence. They'll be rounded up, charges invented, etc. Still, there's always risk. So I will give you 20, no more. For your part, you'll remember to keep our transactions absolutely secret. And of course, deliver my payment in advance, in full, tomorrow. I don't trust you, Karras, so you'll receive the subjects only after I confirm the payment. Well, our business here is finished. Yes. Fabby well, Trick. Now see, friends, with the builder's efficiency, I have completed two tasks with but one effort. Firstly, I did secure 20 subjects to be transformed into servants, as you heard. And secondly, I secured the loyalty of the wary Sheriff Tuart. Yes, his loyalty. <laughs> Tuart fears scandal. Yet his actions of late could bring him that or worse, if ever made public. Now, behold my rock cylinder machine. I've used it to capture the sheriff's very words, even as they moved through the air today. Hawking friends. And I can supply them. Vagabonds, street scum, prostitutes, those who will not be missed by anyone of consequence. With his voice thus preserved, Truett dare not betray me or he'll have the scandal he fears so much. Brother Fegan, thou wilt see to it that this wax cylinder machine gets safely to the bank on the morrow. You will find the safety deposit box key in the shed atop the Acolyte's quarters. Friends, we are adjourned. Return now to your duties. This is the right I'd key. I'd like to get a copy of that key myself. 